I've gone through this before, but the linear expression is one of my favorite things in After Effects because you can just create a rig. This lever moving up and down is driving the ball going across. Same with this one. This lever is making that ball go around the circle. But this is all I've seen online. This is all I've seen people talk about. No one has spoken about this. This is a slightly more complicated version. When I see linear used online, it's always using some static values. So like some numbers to some other numbers. What if you could use dynamic values, like the positions of texts? So here we've got a ticker system that I made a few years ago. As you can see, every second it goes to the next word, goes to the next word. And the word always stops in the same place, right? And these texts can be any length and you can change them at any point. So in this example, we've only got three keyframes. That's it. We've got it going from zero to one then it waits. Now I've just put a loop out offset on there, which just means zero to one, then one to two, then two to three, three to four. It just carries on like that. This slider here is literally just a slider control. So it's just animating zero to one, one to two, two to three, three to four. That is driving all of this. I've visualized how it's working under the hood. Linear converts one range of numbers into another range of numbers. So when you're trying to do this, you're going through a list of words, you can only ever animate from one word to the next. So it can only be like two to three or three to four. So what I did is instead of putting numbers in my linear expression, I put the word ID. So it goes from zero to 20. My gosh, my eyes are hurting. So you've got two arrays here. Arrays are just lists, lists of values, right? So instead of using two sets of values, I'm using two arrays. So we've got word, ID, which is the first array, and that's just zero to 21. And that corresponds to which word it is that we're looking at. Then we've got text pause, and text pause is just the corresponding position of each of those words. Linear is looking at the animation slider. Right now it's at three. So this is saying, look in the list of word IDs and grab the third one because animation slider is currently at three. So look at three to four. When animation slider goes from three to four, we just convert that to the position of the third word to the fourth word. As three goes up to four, like that, we see the, the third word go to the fourth word, like that. The moment it hits four, it resets. And why does it reset? I've got this animation slider int in action, and that's just the animation slider with a math floor, all right? A math floor, just takes any number and rounds it down. And that's important because I need to only look at the current word to the next word. So it just needs to animate from word three to four. When it reaches the fourth word, that's like the next checkpoint. So then it resets. And now we're looking at four to five. The current word plus one. So you can see how like when it gets to six, then the range resets, the word IDs that are being looked at are now different. And then you see the table here on the top right, which have position values of the text. Here in the array, you might have noticed this times minus one. The animation is pushing everything to the left in negative X. So I have to get all the positions and then make them negative because I have to pull them into the negative direction. So we've got this 21st word at the very end. What does that mean? Well, because there's always a range, so it's always like current word with the next, current word with the next, current word with the next. But what about the last word? The last word hasn't got a word after that. It breaks the expression. So what we do is we add another word at the very end as like a dummy, which is not actually gonna be used, but it's just there to satisfy the expression. So I've used this method in other projects like World Horse Racing, where I'm doing like a live ranking board on a replay. The horse positions are changing every segment of the race. And it's the same thing as this, which is current segment to the next segment. Where's the horse going? He was first to start with, now he's third. It's the same thing here. It was just an animation slider going from zero to one or one to two. And it just changes the position of the horse on the table, up and down. This is some powerful stuff. I haven't seen anyone talk about this online, which is why I did such an elaborate visual to try and illustrate what's happening. So it's just going first word to the second word to the third word to the fourth word, right? And the animation slide is just one to two, three to four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that corresponds to the word ID. And then that grabs the position of the word in the other list. There's just two lists. It's saying word one, two, three, four, five, and then position of word one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out of 10. So all linear is doing is just saying, you're going from word one to two. Let me grab the positions of those words. And then that is what drives the animation. And because linear only goes from one word to the next, it has to be like this, where it's this integer defining the range every time. And the moment it gets to the next word, bang, checkpoint reset. Now we're on the next word, now we're on the next word. It's still difficult to explain, so I hope it made sense. If it doesn't, let me know, and I'll see if I can <laughs> explain anything more in the comments. But this is how it works.